Hey, if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Phoenix area, there's a pretty good chance that you've read a blog or two, or at least heard of one of the top Phoenix suburbs, Gilbert, Arizona. In this video, I'm gonna give you a complete tour of the town of Gilbert, Arizona, checking out the downtown area, what your options look like for grocery stores and medical care. We'll touch on a bunch of parks and really cool entertainment options, and we'll dive into some of the top neighborhoods in the area. Let's get right into it. So downtown Gilbert is probably the most family-friendly downtown I think I've ever been to. The biggest complaint that I've heard somebody say, it's too clean. This is a fun ice cream shop. I bring my kiddos here and actually right here, the cream mystery, super cool concept for ice cream. They actually take liquid sugar and milk and insert whatever you want into it. And then you can actually mix it with liquid nitrogen and turn it into immediate ice cream. What's really cool about hanging out in downtown Gilbert here is that there's all these nooks and crannies in different areas. It's not like it's one main drag. It's all outdoors course so you can go check out whatever you want and kind of check out back here back behind the main Gilbert Ave there's a whole collection of really cool stores and restaurants back here of course if you want to get a tattoo you got that over here we'll walk by here in a second and show you that right right here at Rocket Fizz they've got every kind of old school candy you could imagine seriously anybody from any age whether it's your 90 year old grandpa or the five year old everyone's gonna find something in here that's super cool go in and check it out all right so Joyride Taco is one of my favorite spots Taco Tuesday of course you it's cliche, but true. You gotta go check it out. Their menu is amazing. They got indoor and outdoor seating. Obviously, when we start getting in the warmer time of the year, you know, if you wanna be in the misters or in the shade for sure, which is really nice about there is they got a bunch of trees. It's shady, it's awesome. So right outside of one of the main parking garages, you got sushi brokers. Definitely one of the best menus in town. They're not immediately on the main stretch. So unless you're looking for them, it can be kind of difficult to know they're there. Anyway, check this one out if you're a fan for sushi in downtown Gilbert. So this is the one of the two major parking garages. At night, this is all very well lit, easy to find, easy to get to. And literally we're talking 200 feet from downtown where everything's at. All right guys, so one of my favorite spots to uh, bring the dog, dog friendly bar, OHSO Brewery. They actually just completed this here in downtown Gilbert. Let's go inside, I'm gonna show you real quick. Basically you got open air and it gets warm like today. We got the mister system, you can see that going on. They put on some really cool games, football, whatever events going on. We got VIP seating areas. Basically it's a big outdoor court area and in the dog park, which is a completely enclosed area. You can hang out here, have a beer, play with the pups. Of course, like a lot of spots down here, it's all dog friendly. Okay, here, right outside the water tower is the Hale Theater. They've got all kinds of live productions and shows on a regular basis. All right, let's see what we got here. So if you're into live entertainment and shows or you wanna take the kids or anybody else on a fun and entertaining afternoon and date, make sure you go online, check out, find their website, order some tickets, come enjoy. So this is a definitely a really fun one for the kids. We have here a giant ball of marble, but they've got a pump underneath of it flowing water so that you know you can be uh, Hercules here. Push hard enough, get it to move. Otherwise that thing, maybe there's something that tells us how heavy it is, but long story short, super cool setup, super cool park here. All right, so one thing about downtown Gilbert, it's absolutely the most family friendly, action packed area around. Days and nights, right now it's about 96 degrees Monday afternoon. And I'm still surprised at how many people are out. Wait till the sun goes down tonight, you'll see people everywhere. But it's a good thing we have all these parking garages, which are free because it makes it really easy to get in, find a parking spot, go out to dinner, enjoy some drinks with some friends, see a show. Downtown Gilbert is definitely the place to be. All right, so a question we get a lot is, what are the grocery stores like? What's healthcare like in Gilbert? Now, we'll start with the grocery store side of things. In another video, I talked about the average cost of living in the Phoenix Metro, and one thing for sure, groceries and food in general is a little bit lower priced here than the national average for sure. Now, one of the reasons I believe that to be the case is because there is so much competition and so much variety. Actually, I wrote it down here because there's so many. I'm talking specifically just in Gilbert, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Farmer's Market. We got Fry's, Albertson, Safeway, Bosch's, Walmart, of course. You got AJ's Fine Foods, which is a higher end uh, grocery store. Of course, you got Target and Winco, Smart and Final, Natural Grocers, which I'm standing outside of right now. And last but not least, you've got Costco. Um, I'm sure I missed a couple and there's multiple locations for many of these. So the point being is, as far as your groceries are concerned, there's endless options in Gilbert to go shopping. It depends on what kind of a grocery store that you're looking for or what suits you best. Now, as far as healthcare is concerned. Here in Gilbert, there's actually five different hospitals. Plus you've got some smaller emergency rooms that are just more in your neighborhood that if something's really bad, they'll transfer you to, you know, an actual hospital. But point being is there's an enormous number of uh, healthcare options, which is also in a below average cost of living here in the Gilbert and Phoenix area as well. As far as like inpatient, outpatient clinics, dentist offices, there's just dozens and dozens. 
list goes on. Probably if you're curious, if there's a certain type of healthcare provider you're looking for before you consider moving here to Gilbert, just jump on Google Maps, type in the type of clinic or service you're looking for and just see where they're located and how many there are. And if it's important to you to live close to that kind of a clinic, you know, make sure you let us know when you reach out to let us know you're kind of thinking about moving this direction and we'll make sure to talk through and, and take that into consideration when we show you the best spots to live. Air conditioned elevators. Seriously, that feels so good when you're escaping the heat real quick. All right guys, our next stop is gonna be Gilbert Regional Park. I'm gonna go pick up the kids and my wife and we're gonna head over there right now. So right now we're headed to Gilbert Regional Park. This is my wife, Priscilla. Hi. Hey, so what's your favorite thing about this park? I know the first time I saw it, well, tell the story how you found out about it first. I went to a mommy and me market with my friend and that was set up right there. And then all of a sudden we're like, hey, that looks like a pretty big park. Let's go check it out. And we loved it. Yeah, so that's how they found it. But then, you know, me, I'm always at work shooting videos for you guys. But finally, I got to go a few weeks ago with the family and we're, like I said, we're heading there right now. But this this park is completely unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I can't wait. I'm super excited to show you guys. It's awesome. All right, so I'm here right now at the Gilbert Regional Park. This is the splash pad. I'm actually here with my family. A couple of friends are here. Just gonna walk off here for a second so I could talk about this with you guys and have a little bit of quiet. It's, as you can see, just super busy. It's like this all the time. And this is a public park. This is Gilbert Regional Park. It's free to come to. You can rent for birthday parties, events, whatever. There's a whole bunch of these type of things like behind me. This park, I'll have to pull up my sheet and my pocket and my notes, but there's just so much to it. So you have obviously the splash pad, you have that multi-layered slides in the distance, which you can see back way behind me. You got bathroom facilities, you have a big lawn for huge events. So here we got a couple guys playing tennis. You got shade here for hanging out, but yeah, you just basically go online, reserve your spot. They make it super easy actually. You just scan the QR code, pick your tennis court and go. They really make it that easy. All right, we're gonna head over here to the next set of uh, pickleball courts and see what's going on over here. So now we've seen 16, 18 pickleball courts. We're gonna walk across the street here for a second. So of course here at the Gilbert Regional Park, they also have outdoor amphitheater, huge event lawn, and sand volleyball, which we're heading to right now. We'll just cut across the grass here. And yes, this is definitely real grass. That's a huge thing about, especially the, the East Valley area. There's a lot of water resources when you live in this part of the Phoenix Metro. So unlike a lot of other parts of Phoenix, we definitely have a lot of real grass. You know, they have the water supplies here to make that happen. So of course you got another covered area for more birthday parties. You got the sand volleyball pits all set up. You got lighting up here for at night. So if you want to come out, especially in the summer, you're not going to be out here in the middle of the day. Yeah, you can definitely come out here, have a good time with the family. So something kind of cool, a little fun fact about Arizona, we do get heavy rain sometimes. And so you have all these different park areas with grass. These are actually water retention ponds. This is well behind me. So when it rains real heavy, the water's got to have somewhere to go. This park is obviously situated in a really good spot. We got a lake with the mountains up here. Beautiful, beautiful place to hang out for the day with the kids and the family. As you can see, there's just kids running and playing everywhere you go. And that's a lot of what really describes Gilbert. Gilbert is the most family friendly area probably in the country. So yeah, if this is the kind of neighborhood you're looking for, Gilbert, Arizona has so much to offer. Obviously another park that's one of my favorites is Cosmo Dog Park. We'll go there next, show you what that looks like, but they got lakes for the dogs to swim in. You got areas, you know, for the little guys so uh, they don't get bowled over by the big dog. You got uh, obstacle courses. So we actually have some fish in here. Yeah, check that out. They're there. Yeah, so if this is the kind of neighborhood that you want, this is what you like, I feel like there's not a lot of places left in America where you get this genuine, just family-friendly environment. This is amazing. Okay, here we are at the top of the hill. Splash pad in the distance. Get the mountain over here with slides. Just kid paradise, honestly. All right, so that was Gilbert Regional Park. We're gonna next go over here to Cosmo Dog Park so you can see where the puppies play. They play just as hard as the kids did in this park just now, so excited to show you that next. All right, so I'm here at Cosmo Dog Park. I always call it a city of Gilbert, but the reality is 
it's the town of Gilbert. There's a big difference. It's, you know, they want to maintain that town feel and technically it still is called a town even though it's the size of a city and has all the resources of a city still. The town of Gilbert's first police dog, the canine, that dog's name was Cosmo. And there's a little plaque over here about the dog, but the park they built and named after him, this is incredible. Obviously, I'm just gonna kind of give you a tour here behind me. So there's areas of the park here that aren't for dogs. We got a playground up here for kiddos. We got a, a, a walking trail down here around the pond. This pond right here is actually specifically for the dog. So if you have dogs who love to swim, well, they need to come and cool off. You can throw the ball out in the lake. They'll swim out, grab it, pull it back. I know my dogs love that. I have, well, one of the two. I have a blind dog. He doesn't swim so much. The other one, Diesel, he's a, a black lab. He absolutely loves the water. Once he gets in, you can't stop him, especially with the bad hips. You know, it's a really great spot to bring him, especially to get that exercise that ordinarily he's not going to get. But one cool thing, maybe you can see way back there in the distance, there's a couple of people. That's a, a jumping dock. So if you want to train your dog how to run off and jump into the water, super cool spot. So here at Cosmo Dog Park, the park is actually a full 17 acres. Four of these acres are actually fenced in areas for the pups themselves. You got a couple different spots. Like for example, right here, this spot, of course you got a shade tent. This is for more of your smaller timid dogs. So if you've got a dog who's usually small and just not, uh, you know, more submissive maybe, and you know, you don't want them to get bullied over by the big dogs, special space for them. Over here, gate open. <laughs> And close this one. So now that we came in this first section, we can either go here to go to one of these two open play areas. And they, they basically rotate back and forth. This is more the active dog area. But in order to like let the ground, you know, the grass regrow, things like that, they sometimes will switch it back and forth, odds and even days, something like that. But that's that area. But my favorite area is here with the lake. You get these Palo Verde trees, which provide a ton of shade, so you can hang out here. We have this entire beach right here where the dogs can run and play. And obviously right now it's midday, pretty warm. I expect to see this place get really busy here in a couple more hours when the sun comes down and the lights come on. It's, it's open until I think 10 o'clock at night. But here we go. Hi pups! Hi pups! Hi pups! Hi! Hi! Yeah! Whoa! So I'm gonna show you the other section, the more active dog area. So we do have two dog watches, one here. Honestly, you're gonna wanna use it. This, this water, as fun as this is, this water is reclaimed water, just like other parts of Gilbert. So it's treated, it's supposedly sort of clean, but you're still gonna wanna bring soap. You can wash your dog here or here and uh, scrub them down, soap them up, let them dry off and shake, get back in the car and head home. Yeah, we have two separate areas. Apparently you don't need to bring your own balls anymore because there are probably 40 or 50 tennis balls out here for the dogs to play with. Of course, we do have more ramadas just like the other part scan the qr code reserve this for your next birthday party you could have a maybe a dog birthday party and like i said earlier they do lock up certain sections so they're giving this grass time to repair itself while this one gets torn up and they go rotate back and forth but look there's a lot of space here greatest place honestly so as far as this dog park is concerned people come from scottsdale i've heard of people i've met here from glendale even they've driven 45 minutes away just to hang out at this particular dog park it's probably the best i've ever seen i've been to a lot of states and seen a lot of dog parks when we uh, when we travel with the pups and uh, Gilbert definitely has its parks down. So another cool thing about Cosmo Dog Park is that it's right next to this neighborhood, which is Agritopia. And we're gonna check out Agritopia a little bit later in this video. So make sure you stay through to the end. guys, we're here at Santan Village, which is basically an enormous shopping, entertainment, restaurant development here on the south end of Gilbert. Well, not really south end, the middle of Gilbert, really. It's off of the 202 freeway and Santan Village Parkway. Any case, anytime you're bored, which is impossible because there's so much to do, you're gonna wanna check out Santan Village. We're gonna start off here with Top Golf. All right, guys, so I'm here at Top Golf in Gilbert, Arizona. And one of the things I love most about Top Golf is that even if you're not a golfer, it is a great place to come hang 
out with your friends, family, grab lunch, grab dinner. You know, you, like I said, even if you're the worst golfer on earth and you've never even swung a golf club before, this is set up so that you can make it into some other game. It doesn't have to be about golf and getting it into the hole on the green. They've got a bunch of different baskets, as you can see here on this drone footage. And basically you can score points. You can just hang out. If you don't want to golf at all, just enjoy a drink and enjoy the company of your friends and everybody else that's around. But you know, a top golf here in Gilbert, part of Santan Village, amazing spot to enjoy a good time with friends from out of town or just going out for an evening for something different to do. So the cool thing about Santan Village is that you can just keep walking and walking. You're definitely gonna get your tan on out here. I've got my sunglasses on for a reason. It's not just to look super cool. It is warm, it's sunny right now, but as you can tell, there's lots of spots with shade. You got literally every store you could imagine that any major shopping mall would have. And that's exactly what this is, is a major shopping mall right here in Gilbert. It's just that we're not indoors like you would be at say in Chandler, they have Chandler Fashion Center. It's a similar setup. I believe it's actually the same management company even, but very different environment in that, you know, we're definitely outside walking around. There's cars interspersed, but you know, the way they set this whole place up, you definitely have this feeling that uh, it's kind of like a small town walking from shop to shop. So it's definitely got that Gilbert vibe to it, just like downtown Gilbert, only, you know, an updated modern version of it. So very cool spot to come and hang out. I'm really digging the air conditioning coming from this store right here. I can feel it blowing out. Got Sephora. I'm just going to name off some of the stores I'm walking by. You got Chico's, you have Hollister, Ever Eve, you got Purple. I'm, I'm sure you've seen the TV commercials for the Purple mattresses. Fun fact, they manufacture those up in Salt Lake City, Utah. A friend of mine actually works in the manufacturing plant. He's a manager there that, uh, that does a lot of that work for them. But long story short, lots of cool spots to check out. So right here behind me, we've got this really cool shaded area. They, instead of putting cars through the street, they made it a really nice pedestrian way. Lots of playground area for the kids. Nice spot to stop. You got C's Candy, Vans. Basically every retailer that you could think of is, is definitely here. So speaking of these cool sunglasses, if you want a pair literally mailed to you anywhere in the USA, we're not gonna ship internationally right now, unfortunately, but uh, comment below and we'll reach out to you directly to get your address and put a pair in the mail just so that you can be prepared when you come here to Arizona, you gotta have your sunglasses. Right, guys, I'm here at the Riparian Preserve. This is a really cool ecological, it's man-made design, but what this whole project is for, it's a way to make use effluent, which is a fancy word for treated sewage water. So basically what we've done here in Gilbert is they've built out, we, I wasn't involved in it, but I get to enjoy it like everybody else that lives here. But so what's really cool about what they've done here is they've created seven ponds, which all of the effluent water goes into, and then it's able to percolate and then settle down into the aquifer below for you know future use if we ever have to pump it out during an extreme drought. But ultimately what they've done here with this preserve is to create an environment where there's almost 300 species of birds that have come out. And there's a fishing pond here for like catch and release. There's four and a half miles of walking trails around here. We're gonna go ahead and walk around some of it and give you an idea of what this looks like. What I really love about this area is obviously it's a great place to just go for a walk. You got all this water to hang out with, all these birds. So what's amazing about this spot is you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere in nature, except for you've got these amazing walking and biking paths. I'll have to check on biking, not sure if it's allowed, but just an abundance of water here. And it's cool that it's all recycled. It's all recycled water, which allows us to really enjoy, you know, an oasis in the desert. So walking right here in the shade, oh my gosh, this feels amazing. It's nearly 100 degrees today, which in the summer it's normal. It's over 100 almost every day, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for a way to be outside, even on a warm day like this, this is great. You can't get enough of this uh, beautiful shade, sunshine. Get some friends. I'm not kidding you. This is such a peaceful area to just walk. And the best part is like all the parks in Gilbert, it's, uh, it's absolutely free. 
All right, guys, so that's the riparian preserve. Like I said, seven ponds. All of this is recycled effluent water. So it's basically, it's not raw sewage, it's treated. So it's clean enough, but they, it's not clean enough to actually reintroduce back into drinking water. So that's why these ponds exist and what they do. And then of course it percolates back into the earth. You know, we can pump it out through traditional wells if needed. That's a big part of the water management process. Here in the Phoenix area in general, especially here in Gilbert and Chandler, a lot of smart people have designed some really great systems around managing water, conserving it, storing it. A lot of reasons why, even though we live in a desert, that water is definitely always of concern, but not enough to stop people from moving here and not enough to stop all these multi-billion dollar corporations from setting up really incredible uh, operations and companies and offices in the area as well. All right, guys, I'm here at the Islands Park, which is actually the main park for the neighborhood. Now, the Islands is basically comprised of 15, well, I should say there's there's homes that are just in the Islands, but then there's 15 sub-neighborhoods, which are like junior HOAs, if you will, where they have their own special amenities and maybe they have like a, a smaller pool area. Some of them are gated. So there's a lot of variety of different types of neighborhoods and ways to live here in the Islands. So if you're interested in learning about this particular neighborhood, just know that it's like, this is not a one size fits all type of neighborhood. Of course, you get the waterfront front properties, you've got interior properties, you've got, you know, smaller single family, you know, starter type homes, you've got your larger, you know, multiple bedroom type homes with the view, things like that. Uh, long story short, there's 2,633 homes in total here in the islands. It's a great neighborhood. It's a great location. You got views of the Superstition Mountains, of course, the lake itself. It's really an incredible place. You know, all the different local businesses around the area. There's a pediatrician's office that just opened up around the corner and she's been here the last couple of years, you know, promoting her new business, which my daughter actually actually goes to now. So the waterfront itself, there's actually 74 acres of lakes. There's actually three lakes. And they start at the north, lake one, two, and three heading south. This park is along at the edge of lake number three. So here at the Islands Park, we have quite a few amenities to hang out with. There's a, a full basketball court. You get your sand volleyball court, bocce ball. You have a community dock where you can pull up to, especially if you live on one of the waterfront properties here on lake three, and you wanna go to the park here for the day, or you wanna walk across the park to the restaurants across the way. Super fun way to do that. You basically just leave your house, pull up to the dock, park it, walk over here to the community center across the street, and there's a whole bunch of restaurants and spots to eat at. The island is actually on the very edge of Gilbert. Let's call it the north, a west corner. It's basically adjacent to Chandler and Mesa. Um, back when this place was built in the early 90s, late 80s, maybe even going back into the late 70s, early 80s for sure, this was out in the middle of nowhere. There wasn't even any shopping centers around. So this part of Gilbert on the map, it's definitely Definitely a must see if you're into waterfront property in the desert. Pretty incredible concept, beautiful neighborhood. The HOA is super vibrant and active. There's a great Facebook page. I know you, you can get into it to explore what it's like by talking to people that live here. They're not very restrictive about who they let into that uh, Facebook group. So definitely a good resource to check out. You know, to give you kind of a sense for how big this park is. And by the way, this is all real grass. So on a day like today, where it's in the nineties, you got spots to lay out in the shade. I saw a younger couple over here laying in the shade together. That was super cool. It's it's that kind of a park where you can just come hang out. It's quiet, peaceful, it's clean. Unlike some parks and other major city areas around the country, I, you're not gonna find any stray needles around here. It's not that kind of a neighborhood. Fortunately, yeah, things around here are just very, very nice. It's hard to explain until you see it. So if you're curious what some of the homes look like in this neighborhood that are actually currently for sale, you can actually head over to my website, which is phoenixareahome.com. Click on the search box, type in the islands. You can pull up that neighborhood and it'll show you, you know, whatever hand of homes are available. But you gotta keep in mind, this is one of those neighborhoods that uh, they have what's called a really low turnover, meaning there's not a lot of homes that go up for sale every year. Obviously there's a good reason for that. Once people get in, they wanna stay in. It's very unlikely that people move here to then quickly move out. You know, some neighborhoods are that way. They're more, you know, transient in nature. You move to Phoenix and you just get here and you plop down and find that neighborhood, start exploring and decide, okay, we need to move, you know, upgrade to a bigger place. The islands is not that way. It's unusual that a lot of homes sell here. So when they do come up, you got to be prepared to go take a look at it pretty much that day. And if you love it, you got to be prepared to make an offer right away as well. It's definitely the kind of neighborhood that's in high demand. The best properties definitely don't come on the market that often.
All right, guys, I'm here at Morrison Ranch. This is a massive 3,000 acre master plan community here in the heart of Gilbert. It's really a famous landmark are the silos, which um, are unmistakable. It's a great backdrop for lots and lots of family photos, Christmas pictures, that kind of thing. So here in Morrison Ranch, there's actually six different neighborhoods that are distinguished. They have a little bit different amenities, different layout, different style. Some have more green and more trees than others. Overall, the whole thing is actually really green, but I actually wrote them down here. So the six neighborhoods, and there's a map that you can break it down and see what's what, or I can show you here at the office uh, later on. But we've got Higley Groves, Higley Estates, Warner Groves, we got Lakeview Trails, Highland Groves, Elliott Groves, and of course, Desert Place. Now, a really cool thing about the entire neighborhood is, is what, what you see right behind me. You have nice wide walking paths everywhere that are completely separate and distinct from the roads that the cars drive on. So basically what the master plan development does or allows you to do is it encourages people to get out like this and walk around lots of green spaces. No matter where you live in any of these nine neighborhoods within the, the master plan community, you have walking access to all of your grocery stores, the strip malls where you have any kind of service that you guys need. This is one of the most walkable neighborhoods in Gilbert by far. No, nobody can argue with that. So Morrison Ranch, one thing that really separates it from a lot of other neighborhoods is that it is a very, very pedestrian focused neighborhood. As you can see here, probably my shadows casted there, but basically you have these really wide walking paths everywhere you go. It connects the whole neighborhood. It actually also connects you to the two distinct shopping centers that have the grocery stores and your UPS store and you know the post office, everything that you would need. You could literally walk to or bicycle to and never really have to cross paths with or be on any major road where you feel uncomfortable or unsafe around cars. Because honestly, outside of the neighborhood, once you get onto the main arterials and the main areas that uh, you know you have to commute to or drive to, the majority of traffic in the area goes really, really fast. So honestly, Morrison Ranch, from that perspective, is just absolutely ideal. So another defining feature of this neighborhood as you're driving around, if you didn't see the signs that say a version of one of the nine neighborhoods I just mentioned, uh, the whole neighborhood is encapsulated and lined up with very distinct white two rail fences. So it's very clean, kind of has that desperate housewives vibe to it. Honestly, everything's just really neat and tidy. And you know, it definitely looks like it's a movie set from that old popular TV show that we all know. Yeah, what's going on guys? We're here at Agritopia and I'm with Cooper Fowler. Cooper's actually one of the agents on our team. Cooper actually lives here. So I can't think of anybody better. I mean, I could give you the tour as well, but with Cooper here. Coop, tell me where we are right now. What is this place? So this is Farmer's Grill. It's the original location of the original owners of Agritopia. Yeah, they, this was their house. And after about 15 years as farmers, they opened up Arizona's first amusement park. It was kind of a hot attraction for quite a few years. And then it eventually turned into Farmer's Grill as we see. This is called Joe's Farm Grill yeah, now? Yeah, Joe's Farm Grill. And okay. so they have burgers, hot dogs, got it. tots with fries and stuff. It's just a good place to hang out in the morning. They have both breakfast and dinner menu. Okay. Uh, just a great place to be. This is the community garden. And so you can rent a plot in here and you can grow flowers. You can have, you'll in towards the back, there's lots of like tomatoes and people will grow lettuce. So this is basically an urban farm now. Yeah. Look at this, this is incredible. Are these some new apartments here? What, what is this? So, this? so this is the Tyler. They're, they're new apartments that opened up up about eight months ago. Okay. And they're still pleading the east half of it is not quite done. They're still doing work. Uh, it's a condo, so they have restaurants and bars underneath, and then the residents live above. So basically everything's really connected, I've noticed, all these paths and walking areas. Yeah, you'll see lots of families on walks at night because it's just, I mean, because of the trees and all the grass, it just stays cool in this area, even though we're literally in the middle of a desert. And so it's kind of, you know, a little bit of oasis for, for people, so. It feels like that. Like, I don't feel like I'm in the desert. In fact, I feel like I'm in Especially the gardening, I don't know, like Napa, California or something like that. They do like gun assembly, gun refurbishment, the ice cream place. So when the summers get a little toasty, you come down here and you can get yourself a nice scoop of ice cream. So we just stepped outside of Bar None. And this is Garage East. Uh, it's it's a winery. They develop a lot of their own wines. So if you want a place to relax, it's a little more quieter than the bar. This is an excellent place to be.
Cooper, seriously, man, I had no idea this is exactly what Agritopia is about. Obviously, Phoenix in the, in the East Valley is just enormous. There's hundreds of subdivisions and quite literally a million plus homes. So like it's, it's this, this is definitely a unique neighborhood. Okay, so yeah, I noticed basically there's not a lot of open, I mean, there's not a lot of for sale signs going on here. Like uh, this place just seems, anyway. What yeah, you... so for Agritopia, all the homes here are, are, are owner occupied. So you're not gonna find any renters. Oh yeah, um, we've been hiking here for a couple minutes and I, I swear I haven't seen a single for sale sign. So that's probably a pretty good sign that uh, this is the kind of neighborhood people, once they're in, they stay. Exactly. Oh, look at that. I see a, a window well. So there, there's basements on these homes. There are basements on a, a lot of the larger homes in Agritopia, which is great. I mean, obviously in the summer, it's a, that's the place you're gonna wanna hang out. It's cool down there. Uh, but yeah, you will see most of these houses, even on this street, yeah, that they, they have a base looted, so. So what this kind of feels like to me is like a, a very high-end Midwest neighborhood. Yes, that was transported to uh, the desert. Yeah. For no, our convenience. No, this is amazing, because uh, basements in North Dakota were super common where I moved here from, but no, this neighborhood, man, this is something unique and special. Cooper, thank you, man, for showing us around Agritopia. This place is more amazing than I ever even thought, but uh, you have to see it to believe it, I guess. But yeah, we're constantly getting phone calls, emails, text messages every single day from people looking to move or relocate here to the Gilbert and Greater Phoenix area. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving or relocating here to Gilbert or the Greater Phoenix area, make sure you pick up the phone and give us a call. Shoot us an email, send us a text message. Days, nights, weekends, we've got your back, but moving here to the Gilbert and Phoenix area. <laughs>